Okay, so it's uh, Passion Week, and um, tomorrow's Good Friday. And uh, I was just reading scripture here in Matthew about the crucifixion. And um, something I heard on uh, CSN radio, I uh, heard a teaching by a pastor the other day of something that I either never heard or never picked up on. Um, but, uh, you know, again, um, I'm a baby Christian. I was raised devout Catholic. We were spoon-fed what the church wanted to feed us, and you weren't really encouraged to read the Scripture. And it's only since I got out of that that I really have um, gotten into Scripture. But I want to read this. Um, talking about here about the crucifixion. And... Uh, and they, this is Matthew 27, and I'm at uh, Matthew 27, um, 39. Well, let's back up 37. And set up over his head his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then there were, then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another on the left. And they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads, and saying, Thou that destroyest the temple and buildest it in three days, save thyself. If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise also the chief priests mocking him with the scribes and elders said, He saved others. Himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him come down from the cross. Let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now, if he will have him. For he said, I am the Son of God. Verse uh, 44. The thieves also, which were reviled with him, cast the same in his teeth. Now this is interesting to me because um, I don't believe I've ever heard that, that the two thieves abused him. Um, I knew from what I've read and been taught that the one uh, later re, um, repented and asked him, uh, Jesus, remember me when you come into your heavenly kingdom. And um, he said, truly this day you will be uh, with me in paradise. And so, um, you know, only God can read a heart. And surely if Jesus is forgiving this man and telling him that he's going to be accepted into the kingdom, he has read his heart and he knows that his uh, repentance is, is true and sincere. You know, I think we all have seen examples of criminals that were sent to prison or something and, and changed and uh, accepted um, Christ. And uh, we all, you know, being human, we all look at it and go, <laughs> come on, you know. This guy did horrible things. How can this be? And um, it's not fair. You know, that's the other thing. And again, being raised Catholic, a lot of times I was like, you know, we were taught to believe penance and good works was what was going to save you, not, you know, the grace of God and, and faith. And, uh, you know, uh, we're saved by, you know, Christ, not not our works. And But um, anyway, it's really interesting to me to uh, hear this teaching and then to see this verse and realize that uh, this man actually um, initially was of the same mindset. He was rebuking Christ and um, abusing him and then at some point had a change of heart. And that's what repentance is, is a, a change of heart, a change of direction. And um, that's how we are, you know, and that, that's how I, I was. And, um, you know, we uh, hopefully we're, we're saved and we, we turn away from the way we were. We change direction 
and we start following Christ. So, and we all, a lot of times we start out, I know I went through times, periods in my life where I just, I, I didn't believe. I just fell away from it and I was like, oh, this is just not legitimate. This is bunk. This is, you know, and religion is what I've come to just despise is, you know, is religion. Now, you know, I try to follow relationship, not religion. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that. I just think that's remarkable that um, that uh, in, initially both of them were abusing him. And then the one man had a change of heart, and he actually repented and said, you know, we, we deserve what we get. We, we earned it. Uh, this man's done nothing. So, and that's the other thing is that um, forgiveness is available, you know, right up to the last moment. I think there's this mentality that, and I've had it, that if you, you don't um, change somewhere sometime before and accept Christ and, and as your Lord and Savior and turn away from your sin, that it's, it's not valid. And clearly, here's an example that um, at the last moments of your life, you can, you can be redeemed. Uh, I remember a song several years ago where uh, a man was singing about, I want to set up a, um, at the gates of hell and, you know, stop people and save them at the last possible moment. I, I always thought that was an interesting picture. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that. Uh, God bless you all. I hope you have a blessed Easter. Um, keep praying. Keep praying for the world, for peace. Um, keep praying, you know, for um, those that are sick and, and in need. Pray for our nation, which is so fragmented that it, pray that it finds its way. So God bless you all, and uh, happy Easter, and we'll talk to you later.